As if you didn't know already, here on Delmarva, there is a ton of history. Today, we're going to take a closer look into just a part of that history. From seasonal gathering to music and trade, we're going back to the very beginning, and we are talking Native American heritage. And they're here with us today to talk about it. This is Dennis Coker. He's the principal chief of the Lenape Indian Tribe of Delaware. This is Lisa Hurd. Lisa is the assistant chief of the Lenape, the Lenape Indian Tribe of Delaware. And Nina Todd, who's the spokesperson for the Delaware Division of Historical and Cultural Affairs. Thank you so much Thank for you. joining us. Thank today. you for having us. Uh, Assistant Chief, can, can I ask you about your regalia? Tell me about that. Well, um, regalia is a, an expression of yourself. Yeah. Um, colors and, um, uh, for instance, my shawl. My Native American name is Caring Heart. My turtle is kind of shaped in heart shape. Okay. And uh, these are my colors uh, that I like. And then, of course, my turkey fan, uh -huh. turkey feathers, because we're from the turkey clan. There is a lot of meaning to everything, isn't yes, there? Yes, there is. Okay. Um, Chief, let me ask you about this. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to touch on some, some big news okay, big for the Native news. Americans. Yeah. Uh, the beginning of this month, 1st of August, a bill signed um, that has a lot to do with Native Americans. Tell me about this bill. Yeah, absolutely. Um, our recognition bill uh, was signed by the governor on August 4th. Mm -hmm. um, it passed unanimously in the House and the Senate on the last day of Delaware's uh, legislative session. Uh, actually, the Senate vote took place on July 1st, so we were a little bit past midnight. Uh, so we were very, very happy uh, to have that, um, that piece of legislation so unanimously supported by the Delaware State Legislature. Uh, so we're, we've kind of been on that path for close to 25 years yeah. of getting that state recognition, and it means so much to us. Why? Um, what does it mean for Native Americans? Well, in essence, it allows us to participate in some um, federal programming. Um, uh, primarily, what brought us to that point was the, um, the American Indian Arts and Crafts Act. Um, you, in essence, have to be either a federally or state-recognized tribe to uh, seek the protections of that act, uh, which was um, put in place to prevent a lot of the fraud that was taking place in, in Native American arts and crafts. People were buying, you know, imported stuff and okay. labeling it Native American made. So the federal government came in with some stiff penalties and put some requirements on it. And so we had a couple of artisans that were getting harassed a little bit by the Indian Arts and Crafts Board. So. I went to my local legislature, uh, legislator, um, Representative Sean Lynn, and asked him if he could help us out, and he said he'd be happy to do so, and we drafted some legislation and, and talked about it and talked about it, and we were successful in, in, it's a wonderful uh, thing. in August. Yeah, absolutely. We're very happy. We'll be celebrating for some time to come. Yeah, I bet you will. Yeah. Nina, uh, September's a big month for Native yeah. Americans. Why? Well, uh, the Division of Historical and Cultural Affairs um, we partner with the Lenape Indian Tribe of Delaware, and we have a month-long celebration of uh, Lenape heritage. Yeah. We have programs. It, it kicks off on Saturday, September the 3rd, in which we have a day-long program that goes on up into the evening, clear to 8 o'clock. Tell me about some of these pictures here. These are oh, absolutely gorgeous. Oh, wow. Dancers. Yes. Uh -huh. Wow. Grass Fancy grass. dancers. Mm -hmm. It, the, the heritage, the history is absolutely incredible. You actually had to bring in a list of all the things that are going on because there's so much happening. Absolutely. Um, we have, uh, as I said, on September 3rd, which is the first Saturday, we actually have something that goes on on the first Saturday of every month right. at, the, at the museum uh, with the First State Heritage Park. But September is the celebration. We celebrate all day long. We will be there from 10 in the morning until 8 o'clock at night. We have a little break in between. Um, we also have on um, Labor Day, we have the chief who will be speaking about in more depth about the recognition of the Lenape tribe wow. with the state that of Delaware. Is is this going to be one location, awesome. multiple locations? It is going to be one location. It is the old state house and also the uh, the green okay. and the surrounding area. Assistant Chief, do you, do you have much of an opportunity to get out in regalia? Is there a lot that goes on on a regular basis? Um, there's a few things, but, um, you know, it's hard to get out in regalia. But right. when you do, you're proud to wear it. Awesome. Proud to wear it. Typically Assistant the powwow. 
the yeah. powwow circuits yeah. um, or regalia days. It's a great time to rub elbows. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Assistant Chief, Chief, thank you yeah. so much. Nina, thank you so much you. for bringing thank us you. some terrific information yeah, for thank us. Thank you for I having us. I can't wait for this. It's going to be great.